Hello everybody, Arkea here, back with another vlog. You know, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I've managed to kind of keep up with doing them, and it when I look through, it looks like I've been putting one out about every two weeks or so. And if I'm totally honest, that is um, impressive for me. So I would appreciate it if in the comments you could also appreciate the fact that I've managed to even remotely keep up with it. So, of course, I gotta show you, um, the cats. Show you how they've been doing. I got a really cute video of Little Moon here playing. She's very adorable. Sorry for the potato quality. It was dark and whatnot. But either way, she's still quite adorable. But anyways, so I guess there are a few things that I wanted to talk about in, uh, this vlog that I'll bring up throughout. Um... First of all, uh, I found a place to live for the winter, which is really nice, because uh, we're being evicted after November. Well, November is our last month here, um, and we don't have a house built on our property yet. So, luckily we found a place to stay, because, you know, we have a lot of animals, and it's really hard to find a place to rent with a lot of animals, and so... You know, I'm just I'm just grateful that someone generously offered to let us stay with them and let all of our animals stay with them. So that's a bit of good news. And <laughs> we got a printer. And uh, Odin was fascinated by it. He'd never seen a printer before. <laughs> yeah, Odin, what do you think of that? He he wasn't as freaked out as I've seen other cats. Which is totally fine, because I don't want him damaging my printer. So, I've been trying my best to try and keep my home kind of clean. I've been in a really bad state mentally, if I'm totally honest. And, um, you know, just trying to get myself to keep clean and pack up everything so that when we do have to move, then we'll have everything all ready to go. It's very stressful. I haven't moved in over five years, and now I just have to pack up my whole life and leave in a, a few months, you know? It's... It was... It kind of came as a shock. And I'm gonna miss this home, even though I kind of feel trapped here. It's... It's hard to explain. But either way, I've been managing to make it work, and... Well, I'm just trying to get my shit together, I guess. Doing my best. And, uh, in packing and figuring out what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of, I've been cleaning as well, which has been, you know, I, <laughs> oops, <laughs> that's a whole lot of depression right there. <laughs> but honestly, I've, uh, I've just been trying to figure out what exactly is going to happen and it's hard figuring out what we're going to keep, because I, I want to get rid of most of my stuff and live kind of a more simple life with many less possessions. Um, I'm doing my best, you know, going to donate as much as I possibly can and recycle as much as I can and just sort of see where it goes, right? So I'll keep you updated. Because uh, I have a, a four-bedroom house full of stuff and I want to get rid of most of it so this will be exciting I'm really excited to be able to breathe fresh air and have a fresh home and hello Kev too this is another one of my giant centipedes um, one thing that a lot of people don't know is that centipedes are an awful lot like cats just about all they do all day is groom themselves and sleep it's quite remarkable, and I know most people are really not into them, but honestly, I, uh, I love them. I, I love my centipedes so very much. They really are, baby. Look at those little mustaches. They're just all flip-floppy and just so adorable. They're so cute. They just have so many legs to clean. You know? Well, he's off on an adventure. He's just a really long cat. 
just a really long cat from, I guess, hell, maybe. I don't know. I love him. He's my baby. I've actually managed to train my centipedes to eat out of a bowl. <laughs> so every once in a while they go and look in the bowl and see if there's food. It's actually very cute. They've become way less, like, super spazzy, which I appreciate. And here is actually a wild centipede. I believe it is a stone centipede. It looks an awful lot like my centipedes, just about a fraction of the size. Like, if it curled up, it would probably be about the same size as the head of one of my centipedes, which is quite the difference. But they look an awful, an awful lot the same. Wow, I'm so good at speaking. <laughs> but this is not Scolopendra. I just, I don't, I don't know all of the scientific names of all the native insects. There's too many. Um, I think it says Lithio... Lithobioma morpha? Maybe. Oh well. And here's some sumac. This stuff is weird. I tried making a tea out of it, and it, I, I wasn't a fan of it, but the flowers are beautiful and very strange. It feels like pipe cleaners. And then I'm doing my best to spend as much time as I can with my elderly neighbors. They've spent their whole lives dedicated to their garden. And I always love to hang out with them and see their plants and all the little critters that run around and I'm gonna really miss them when I move. They're good people. They're really really good people and they're just such amazing gardeners. I mean look at these tomatoes. They're in like peak condition. I can only hope that one day I'll be able to be as good as them with my garden. Maybe. Hopefully. Maybe some of their uh their goodness will rub off on me and I'll have a prolific garden as well. Because I know I'm going to need this many tomatoes for all the tomato sauce for all of my pork roasts and pastas. But they grow a bunch of tomatoes here and a bunch of beans. Runner beans. They are really delicious. They've given us some of their beans before too. Look at how prolific they are. They're, it's huge growing all over the place. And then over here is a Japanese quince. And I used these to make uh, the first jelly I ever made, actually. It kind of tastes like an apple mixed with a lemon. They're quite delicious. Very, very, very good. Good jelly. Very weird tasting. And all the pollinators are out in full swing right now. I tried to get footage of another plant, but I just... My my camera couldn't focus on it, so... You get these. But either way, recently I've just been really stressed and... Because I, I didn't know where I was going to live for a little over a month at least. And so I'm, I'm super grateful that I'm going to have somewhere to stay, but... I'm not gonna lie when I say I lost a little bit of hair stressing out about having a home and I just can't wait for everything to settle and I'm really excited for when I get to build my home finally so I hope you'll stick around for the adventure where I figure out everything <laughs> yeah hopefully I'll figure it out better than this ant <laughs> This, uh, this, I wish I got all the footage. This ant dragged it so far only for it to fall and he couldn't do it. However, this one had much better success. It's always impressive how all these little guys just manage to make stuff happen. I gotta be like an ant. I just have to make stuff happen. Even if the task seems too big. I'll just be an ant. Muscle through or whatever, you know. Speaking of ants, this is a queen ant in nuptial flight, so she still has her wings. She must have recently just left the nest, and she's looking for her own home. 
I think it's a carpenter ant? Don't quote me on that though, but look how big she is. And off she goes. And you can see, compared to all the other ants, she is absolutely massive. Super cool. I was really, really glad I got to see her. And then the neighbor's cat. I love this little guy. I'm also gonna miss this little guy. I normally give him pets every single day. He's a good little guy. Very soft. I'm not really used to furry cats, but I, I, uh, I allow it. He's very sweet. He actually used to be scared of me. Oh, yep. The uh, Cornelian cherries. Again, my neighbor's tree. It's a pretty remarkable tree. There are literally thousands and thousands of these. I'll definitely have to make a jelly out of them too. Probably go there in the next couple days and pick a bunch of ripe ones. This is definitely <laughs> a bug episode. I just, I, I just am always so fascinated by all the bugs and all their little interactions and all the things that they do. Like, look at them. They're, they're guarding these flowers, collecting whatever it is on them. I mean, I probably nectar and maybe there's some sort of goo that seals the plants until they come out. I know there's a few ants that'll do that with some flowers, but I don't know about this flower specifically. They're so spastic. You gotta wonder what they're doing. It's very interesting, though. I always love watching bees go inside flowers. It's always very cute. And then there's a little bee inside of here, too. They're just everywhere. A little leaf hopper. Beautiful. Neon blue and neon pink. Hmm. Well, anyways. Here's Bing. Being adorable. As usual. She, uh, she loves that blanket so much. Absolutely adores it. It's very cute. Here I am, cleaning stuff, trying to clean the depression away, you know? The anxiety. I've recently been dyeing my hair a little bit, so it's kind of stained my curtain a little. It looks absolutely foul. Disgusting. So I did clean it. Um, sorry about the mess in the background. We're trying to move boxes and everything around, so our house is in a little bit of disarray. So apologies about my house being gross but I figured instead of hiding it, I'd show you the reality. So we've been going through absolutely everything and sorting out what we're going to sell and what we're going to keep and just trying to figure out life together, you know? But you know what? It's working out, I think. I think we're going to be able to make it work, and I'm very excited for the future. Scared and nervous, but I'm also very excited and very happy. So... I just hope that the next six or, or six to twelve months don't kill me, because <laughs> I have a big task ahead of me. So I'll do my best to try and keep up with everything. I'll do my best. We've got a lot to do still, but it's okay. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on the vlog. Like my big sips. <laughs> I drink two beers. Wow. Oh. Excuse so, me while I chew it. I'm gonna tell people it's three. <laughs> it's three. It's not. It's two. Thank you very much for joining me. 
hopefully I'll see you in the next video, eh? Bye! Links below. See ya! Peace!